Hey, buddy. What the hell are you doing in my bed? We got another request. Dave Vanderhoff wants us to do 1987's Rock and Roll Nightmare. Would you get out of my bed? Hello and welcome to another edition of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we kick off, what are we drinking? Uh, we're drinking the Dark Crystal, Munich Dunkel. Mmm. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about 1987's Canadian yeah. straight-to-video horror movie, Rock and Roll Nightmare, <laughs> also known as The Edge of Hell. The movie was directed by John Fasano, and um, he was a script doctor for movies like Die Hard with Vengeance and Tombstone, just to name two notable ones. John Mikkel Thor is in this too. Uh, he plays the main character with the blonde, the nice flowing blonde yeah, hair. The big long locks. <laughs> Most people would recognize him from being the lead singer of the Canadian metal band Thor. <laughs> Rock and Roll Nightmare starts off with this family living in a farmhouse and the mom's making breakfast, trying to get the kid down. Come on, breakfast is ready. Not yet, mom. <laughs> get your ass down here. The lame ass dad's all shaving. He hears his wife scream in the kitchen, so he runs down to see what happened and no one's in there. The kitchen is empty. So for some reason, the first place he checks is the oven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you always check. Yeah. And this skeleton comes out of the oven. <laughs> it then cuts to this van going down the highway with all this metal music playing. Dun, 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 Guy dun, driving is <laughs> all. Ah! And this scene goes on for quite some time. The music then changes to like this more synth music. And it's like super long, like just yeah. minutes long of this. The van shows up at this farmhouse, the doors open, and all these guys start coming out. You find out it's a band that's come to this farmhouse to do a recording and rehearsal to write their new album. This band's name is Triton, and their lead singer is Triton, and that is <laughs> Thor, the guy with the long blonde hair. They all have their women with them. Yeah. And they also have like their manager with them. Manager starts talking to this groundskeeper. You got the keys for me? And the groundskeeper keeps droning on about <laughs> like, oh yeah, all sorts of bands come here to record. You know, Alice Glooper? <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 Alice Cooper. Yeah, that uh, Bob Stewart was here too. And the guy's getting all the names wrong. The band starts rehearsing in the barn. The women are all watching and oh yeah. Why would they get super dressed up like that to just rehearse? Oh, it's the 80s, man. <laughs> While they're rehearsing, you see this weird monster thing, this weird one-eyed <laughs> penis-looking thing. Kind of, and it goes over to this, like, drink and <laughs> gobs all this gob into this drink. The drummer ends up breaking a drumstick, so the manager guy has to go down into the basement to go get a new set for him. And one of the girls is down there kind of waiting for him. You know how to make a woman hot. She starts seducing him and everything. Of course she takes off her sh top, you know. And he doesn't know what to make of it and right away she turns into a monster and takes a big chunk out of his neck. So everybody notices that he actually is in fact missing but they just figure, well, he's gone to town to get drumsticks. Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, they kind of finish their rehearsal and they just start relaxing and uh, just go to bed, basically, <laughs> all of them. They, they, they're they all tired and they got a, some lame ass <laughs> band. What kind of rock band is this? You just go to bed, they're all reading in bed and shit. Like, yeah, like, like be partying and like drinking and fuck. They are screwing a lot, though. All of them <laughs> seem to be getting it on, except for that Thor guy. He's all <laughs> too into all his work and shit. Whatever the fuck he's even doing. The Australian guy with this horrible accent. <laughs> he goes to the bathroom, and there's this woman that shows up behind him, and you just see her arm reach out, and you hear him scream. So they rehearse again, and uh, they take a break, and... The Australian guy and his girlfriend, they go for a walk around this pond and it's all freezing out too. You can see like their breath, it's all yeah. cold. But he kind of wants to get it on with her and she's like, what, right here? It's like, that's oh, not very romantic or anything. He unbuttons his shirt and this hand comes out of his chest and attacks her, which is pretty cool actually. So one at a time, basically these monsters in this house start picking the band members off one by one until there's just Thor left 
and he's got to do battle with yes. the big baddie. <laughs> yeah. So that's where we're gonna end the plot. So if you want to find out what happens to Thor, keep watching 1987's Rock and Roll Nightmare. But is it trash or treasure? <laughs> so let's start with the treasure. Mm -hmm. We're really gonna have to grasp at straws <laughs> here. We had a tough time. <laughs> to say that the establishing shots were very nice, <laughs> And not even that many of them, it's just like <laughs> one. It's uh, really grasping here. <laughs> so yes, the establishing shots at the farmhouse look pretty nice. Yeah, some nice blue light. <laughs> it's okay, it's all right. The incidental score, so like all the background music and stuff that's not the band playing, it's actually pretty good. But it's all super loud, like you can't hear the dialogue, like the music's too loud. So that's another good thing about this movie, if you like this sort of thing. There's some boobs in it. I There's mean, boobs? Uh... <laughs> They're nice boobs? Yeah, at least they kind of went there a little bit. And some of the effects are pretty good, like the hand coming out of the guy's chest. Yeah. It's a pretty good effect. Yeah. Some of the monsters look not too bad. Mm -hmm. But that'll bring us to the trash! They're also not very good though too, right? They're very like second-hand looking, basically, <laughs> and they're sort of flea market effects. <laughs> yeah, like those puppet things, like, they look kind of cute and all, but it's not very good. They don't look scary, like no. those weird puppet monster things. Like, yeah, they're kind of cute, but they also look really cheap. <laughs> yeah. The monster that Thor has to fight at the end, the, the devil thing, yeah. that looks fucking horrendous. <laughs> It's so bad. It's like, you couldn't do something better than this? They're all delicate with it, yeah. too, and everything. It's just gonna fall apart. <laughs> it's all, like, super, like, choppy and, like, rah, 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 rah. like, what the fuck? Also, you don't see enough of the kills, too, which would go kind of hand-in-hand hand with the effects, right? If they showed more of the kill, they could possibly show more gore, maybe yeah. more effect of some kind, but they don't show anything, they just cut. It leaves you wanting. Right? Yeah, it leaves you wanting to see what happened. Yeah. Uh, in a movie like this, like a cheesy, schlocky, straight-to-video horror movie, yeah, yeah, you don't cut it out. Exactly, you need, need it. it. Yeah, you need it. It's part of the whole recipe, you yeah. know? There is zero plot in this movie. I kept thinking, like, what is, what is this about? Yeah. What's happening? Nothing is happening, and they're not explaining why these monsters are in this farmhouse, where they came from, why they're killing, why people are suddenly turning into monsters too. Also, why they, they may not be. Like, the, that scene where that puppet thing spits all that shit into the cup, then the guy drinks it, and it's like, so... I thought he was gonna turn into a monster or something. Yeah. What was the point of all of that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <laughs> happened. There's a lot of stuff in here you don't need. Well, first of all, most of the movie is just the band rehearsing. Mm. So that's pointless, that's not plot. Then there's all these pointless shots like that chicken. Thor goes into the fridge to get something and it just shows this chicken turn around with these teeth. Yeah. And then that's it. You never <laughs> see it again. Like, what was the point of that shot with the, yeah. the the haunted chicken? And it doesn't it doesn't attack him or anything. <laughs> yeah. He just closes the door to the fridge and that's it. It's like, well, <laughs> oh, fuck. This movie definitely needed some sort of an explanation as to what the fuck is, all these monsters are. The acting for this movie just <laughs> plain sucks. Oh, it's it was, bad. It was horrid. And it goes kind of hand in hand with the dialogue that they have to speak to. Oh. It's written horribly. So Randy and I are in the master bedroom and there's a smaller bedroom for Roger and Mary. And the characters are fucking lame. Like, yeah. lame. Like, these characters are boring and lame. It's a rock band. They should be cool. They should be fun and partying. Mm -hmm. And they all just go to bed and read. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like there's no... F nothing fun is happening besides the band playing. But then, like, well, the band kind of fucking sucks. Man, it's horrible. Yeah. There's another piece of trash in this, a band Triton. Fuck, man, like, the music is generic as hell. And the lyrics, oh, oh my god. Fucking cheesy as hell. Cheesy and just lame, and they just do a chorus over and over. There's no, like, verses or anything. It's energy! <laughs> you keep me fed, then you put me to bed. <laughs> Like, what the bad. hell? There's, there's a reason why most people don't know who Thor is. <laughs> yeah. 
And that's pretty much what this movie is because Thor was a producer on this. It's just a vehicle for him to show yeah. himself off, to show off his music, and to get with all these broads. Yeah. And the movie's all getting laid all the time, and yeah. that super long scene in the shower. Yeah, it's oh. fucking, but it, it's awkward, too. Awkward, it's, it's like it's, sticking his tongue out and everything. It's like, <laughs> oh, what, what the fuck? It's probably some of the worst on-screen kissing oh. I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I can just well imagine what once the camera shut off, she's like, get me the fuck out of here. Like, not only can this Thor guy not act, he can't even, like, kiss. Yeah. yeah. He can't even pretend to get laid in the shower. <laughs> like, fuck. The pacing, too, because not much happens in this movie besides them sleeping, having sex, or rehearsing. Nothing happens in between. So the pacing is, like, totally off. It feels way longer than it should. Oh, and the movie's short, too. It's I like know. It's less than an hour and a half, and it seems like it's super long, because you have to sit through all these songs. Like, one thing if they show the band rehearsing, and it's just like, you know, a little snippet of the song, but it's the whole song yeah. you gotta sit through, and like, oh, this yeah. song <laughs> sucks, and nothing's <laughs> happening. Like, you don't even see anything happen in the background that's interesting, or... Nothing. If you just watch the band play. Another piece of trash is that guy's horrible fucking fake accent. Ugh. Yeah, oh. good lord. I couldn't pinpoint it, really. It's like, What's okay, it supposed to be? Yeah, it's like, are you trying to be Australian English? Hey, really, mate? What are we supposed to do here? And maybe get why they did it to showcase that he's been taken over by a demon, so then he stopped. Sure, Luan. Let's take a walk in the woods. There's a little cozy lake I'd like to show you. Why would your accent just stop? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't make any damn sense. They couldn't afford any effects to, like, make him look possessed with makeup, so they just said, just change your <laughs> accent and you're possessed. I don't know. And you can tell that they really tried stretching scenes out longer in this movie to maximize the runtime, <laughs> yeah. which hurt the pacing. Like yeah. that, that drive in the beginning when they're driving to the farmhouse, it's literally like four minutes long of driving. Yeah. You just exterior shot of this van down the highway and this synth music playing, and it's like, Ugh. okay, like there's not even credits really. I know, there's no nothing. <laughs> it's like, just wrap it up, get to wherever the fuck you're gonna go already. Like, ugh. And the final fight scene of this movie is just <laughs> horrible. Like, it should be the big payoff. Right? Yeah, that's... Like, oh, yeah. Especially when you sit through garbage like yeah. this, you want a fucking wicked payoff for an ending. So this demon thing, this, the horrible looking demon that looks like it's put together like a bunch of sausage links or something <laughs> shows up and Triton's like not even scared. Oh, hello, bub. Yeah, yeah, it's like, isn't that the name that you go by? What are the other names? He's like, Beelzebub. <laughs> All this stuff. It's like, okay, so I guess you find out that he was all put on the earth to do battle with this demon. <laughs> then suddenly, like, he turns into some superhero. He's all muscular and he's like... an 80s superhero. His hair's all teased. He goes to do battle with this fucking demon. And if you could call it a battle, they literally hold each other for like five minutes as yeah. the, the last song plays. <laughs> yeah. And it's just the camera kind of following them around while they kind of do yeah. this. And the thing, that demon thing throws all those starfish things at them. They're all sticking <laughs> the star. Them. And it's all slow motion. <laughs> yes. He's all wiping the grease off and yeah, all that. Like, 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 who thought fuck? of that? Like, so what kind of... Uh, Weapons are we gonna use here in this fight? Well, the demon's gonna throw starfish at <laughs> Thor. Like, who thought of that fucking idea? How about fire? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> or, or like a real weapon, like yeah. a, a sword or something, not fucking starfish. starfish. <laughs> and they hit him, and they don't do anything <laughs> anyways. You just uh, <laughs> tell that they made this fucking dummy thing so poorly where they didn't want it to break yeah. and that's probably why the fights he's literally holding the thing together, together right? yeah, I don't know you know how to explain there's it there's nothing to feel good about when it's over <laughs> yeah. right? it's, you're not like hooray yeah, you're, you're like you're like okay he beat up a fucking blow up doll like <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then now he's walking around walking around in some cemetery yeah. it's like Oh, what is that? Like, what? <laughs>
1987's Rock and Roll Nightmare, Trash or Treasure. Is Ugh. it so bad it's good or is it just plain bad? <clears throat> it's just plain trash is what it is. Yeah, I'd hate to say it is trash. It's not quite bad enough to be a good bad. Yeah. It's, it's just kind of a bad bad. Yeah. Even though I did laugh a bunch, like it was entertaining in its badness, <laughs> but it wasn't so bad where it was like, oh man, I can't wait to watch this again. Yeah, you know? there's nothing redeeming about this movie at all. Nothing rewatchable <laughs> about it. It's like, I can I can do without this movie. <laughs> like, I don't ever have to watch yeah. it again. I'm good. One of the only redeeming things about this movie is the fact the groundskeeper kind of like pushes Toronto Canada as being no. the hip place to record in the 80s, which it kind of was. But why Canada? Because Toronto's where it's happening, man. And actually, that piece of dialogue between the groundskeeper and the manager is okay. Yeah, it's, but it's all right. It's okay in a big pile of shit. But it's still, it's it may be okay, but it's still hard to watch too because the acting is so oh, horrible. Yeah. It's like, oh man, it's it's uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah the keys, and they I mean, built a, a recording studio up there, twenty-four right track with the keys. I'd like to. Have. Yeah, I have the keys here. Good. And um, can I? Well, I want to tell you something though. So if you're looking for just a stupid schlocky movie you can have fun and laugh at and not even have to pay attention to, throw on, rock and roll nightmare, but if that's not your bag, then fucking leave it alone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and until next time, keep drinking.